This dude, the reason why, got, got down on his hands and knees to sniff the remaining butt fumes yeah. of uh, what the, what's, Andrew what, Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah. And the reason why he does that is because he 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 considers himself a beta to the alpha males out there. Okay. So these alpha males that he gets around, that's his signature to go in there and snip their ass. Ah. Okay. This, this, this is the man that Trump is talking to right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, y'all, you know, for the people who gonna get pissed at us because we're not saying what you want us to say. For all those out there who are talking about, man, why don't y'all just stick to movies? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to make y'all mad getting into politics, but when things are as weird as they yeah. are right now, we done gone from, man, I'm, I've gone from kind of hopeful to depressed to kind of happy and elated again to like, damn, this is, Weird now. Yeah. And I tell you, your boy Trump, I mean, things are getting so weird. He he missing Biden right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 like, funny. he like, man, why did you have to go? I mean, things were perfect. We, we, we had a good thing going, you know. <laughs> man, things you talk were about good. me, I talk about you. <laughs> we were beautiful. Why did you have to do it? You're breaking up the band, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of weird, man, I wish I could say that I was the one who kind of put that spin on things. But no, nah, it was your man, Tim Waltz. Yeah. That did that. <laughs> Governor of Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. This is Kamala Harris's uh, VP pick right mm -hmm. here. And a lot of people. they say, nah, Look, don't let don't let this. Uh, this old mild mannered dad look fool you right here. <laughs> <Right. laughs> You could even cross it over to Grandpa right here, you know. Mm -hmm. And I will say that the man, they've been, they've been trying to jump on him, man. Trying to talk about, oh, look at his old looking ass. Because <laughs> I will tell you, because he's 60 years old, and, and it's not a... Wow, he's 60? Man. I, I mean, I, mean I, I guess those white eyebrows make him look older than that. Oh, uh, man. Because if he's 60, he's only a year older than Kamala. Yeah. And he don't, man, I don't know what kind of life he's been living. <laughs> I don't know if there's a secret life of drugs and hoes or something he's been living, but I don't know. He's been doing a lot of stuff. But I probably keep, they, they, cause he will tell you, he said the only person that drinks more Mountain Dew than the other VP candidate, JD uh, Walt, the Vance, Vance uh -huh. is me. Man loves his Mountain Dew. Does he? Yeah. That's it's, what, oh, that's why he And it shows old. right yeah. there. <laughs> Shit made him old to the extreme. <laughs> Because people have been talking, they've been trying to use that because they ain't got nothing else. Right, right. Oh, look at your old looking ass. Uh -huh. And he is, I ain't going to lie. I looked today, I'm like, now, let me just ask, because I thought I saw 60. Now, I might be wrong. Okay. In fact, looking at this, I hope I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure, make, make sure you got that right, because there's, there's plenty of disinformation going around out it, there. It, it is. No, somebody said, no, add another zero, 600. No, come on now, that's just me. Stop it, stop it. Uh, no, they say he's 60. Okay. Look, some people just don't age that well. You know? True, true. It's all in, in the genes. Because uh, somebody put up something today that probably shouldn't have. And boy, you... you that's you, been happening a lot lately. Man, you got some... <laughs> Goddamn nerve trying to pull this off. Because somebody said, hey, man, Tim Walsh, he's 60 years old and don't look as good as Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, or uh, me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Derek no, Savage. Oh, no. <laughs> cool Cat says. I, I love how he puts that old picture of himself up there. Exactly. <laughs> he's sitting up here trying to talk about, trying to talk about, man, Man, he don't look like he don't look like a, a good looking sixty year old like Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, and me. Meanwhile, that's a picture of him from twenty years ago. If you want to know what he look like right now, this fool just won an award, and his ego so big that he can't help but put a picture of himself now uh -huh. that he won that award. Though, uh -huh. so y'all see that picture right there? Bullshit. There he is today, oh, right yeah. there. Now, still better looking than Tim Waltz. Yeah, but you ain't. But, but, but not, you ain't that. You ain't that. Yeah, come on now. And they're trying to act like, oh, I, I didn't say that. Cool cat said it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, 
don't let that fool you. Because the man got a lot of energy, yeah. got a lot of spirit, yep, yep. and is ready to talk shit in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> so he did his speech today. And a lot of people said they, it was a great speech. Because one of the things that he's really good at is speeches. Mm-hmm. This is one of the reasons why he's such a he's such a so, so popular a, so popular governor. He gives yeah. the speeches, but he does a lot of stuff for the state, mm-hmm. depending on yeah. what side of politics you lean on, of course. But he did some some good stuff. Like he he provided some uh, some tax ta- I believe tax breaks that benefited kids out there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, if you're on a, uh, depending on what kind of side of abortion that you're on, you either hate the guy, or love him. But he's done a lot of other things. People love the guy. Well, he's a veteran. Yeah, he he's in the yeah. National Guard. And a football coach. Yeah. So he was in the National Guard and they sent him. Uh, oh, he did some stuff after 9-11. He got called in from mm-hmm. uh, to, to. I don't know where he went after 9-11, but he did something. That's the, my quick read up of him today, because I was reading about him all day. Because uh, to be honest with you, <clears throat> I hadn't really heard about him that much. Not me either. I knew about him, but I didn't know it. I, I knew about him, but didn't know about him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. Uh, oh, man. Shit. What is Hood Rat going to do? Because he made all those videos about Biden. He can't use those at all now. Oh, well, he'll, he'll, get on, he'll, he'll start with him. <laughs> how, when, how, how can Waltz compete with Hood Rat? <laughs> with one of his signature raps out there. <laughs> I don't know. That's some tasty bars. I don't know. Look at this guy. He's really old. I can't buy into him. I'm not into him. <laughs> so goddamn it, so <laughs> hood red, hood red. Uh, man. But yeah, he he uh is ready to debate uh JD Vance. And if I was JD Vance and saw this dude coming out the gate talking shit, I'd be oh shit. Cause he's not you know, it's he's they take us some. They take us. They, they. They. I would. I wouldn't say necessarily some. Some. Uh. Uh. They're, they're punching low, but they are taking some good digs. Well, they're also taking plays out of out of Trump's book. I mean, because his his whole thing is always like, well, just make up like disparaging nicknames about people and just say it yeah. over and over. But like with the with the black journalists. His whole thing is like, why, why are you being so rude? You're so mean. Yeah. And like, oh, 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 now all of a sudden you, you, I thought you were strong, man. Now yeah. you get your feelings hurt. Bitch, how you like it now? And, wow. And, oh, oh my God. Oh, what, what is that they, that they always, uh, they always saying about people? Uh, oh, when they calling them weak. What was that they would always say? Oh, they had a term for it. Oh, did they? Yeah, the term for being soft. Snowflakes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, poor little snowflake. You can't handle it. Mm-hmm. Boy, they ready to throw that shit around because they can't handle it. That's yeah. why they say that all the time. Yeah, thin skin. You say something about them, you you know, some people like the people they were talking about. Those people complain. You say something about them, they f- cry. Uh-huh. Why you say that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's so mean. You're so rude. You're just nasty. Yeah, they say they say that shit because. They're the ones with the real snowflakes. And I imagine J.D. Vance is somewhere right now crying, man, he didn't have to say that because <laughs> he came out and he did, a, he did a nice, long, professional speech. And then somebody said he went Don Rickles on his ass at the end. That, he, he, he did a nice, professional speech and then saved the end to talk some shit. <laughs> I can't wait to debate the guy. That is, if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So, <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> Wait, see, I didn't go down Ripples. <laughs> yeah, hockey yeah, puck. Hockey puck. Yeah. <laughs> this man <laughs> just <laughs> said, is, you know, I'm ready to debate him if he stopped <laughs> couches. Because that's what that dig is at. Right, right. If he's ready to pull his dick out the cushions, <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> and they are hammering that. He didn't have to say yeah. that. What he did. That was low. <laughs> I would never say that about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, you just got to call it the uh, same women, bunch of cat ladies. Shut yeah. your ass up. <laughs> Stick your dick between the couch. <laughs> yeah, so the guy, like I said, don't let that picture fool you, man. He's he's ready. Look, look at that picture right there and like, you, yeah, you know, there's a big difference. Yeah, I mean, you know, at first I was like, because they were like, well, he doesn't have a strategic advantage because Minnesota is not a swing state. But then you see this guy in action, you're like, 
Oh hell yeah, I want him on my side. Yeah, you know, I we could we could play good cop bad cop. <laughs> He, yeah, somebody said he's funnier than I expected. No, he's a great speaker. And go look at some of his stuff that's online, like his his Instagram post and his Twitter post or X post, whatever. He's actually a, a, a very charismatic guy. Mm -hmm. he, he's very internet savvy. Yeah. So again, you know, don't let a bad looking 60 fool you. Yeah, right. He's still right. got that spirit deep down inside. And it's funny, he shaved a few years when he starts talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> So again, I don't want to come in and be the one to always have to advise you conservatives and Republicans and everything. But do y'all see the big difference? This, Harris and Waltz, they're out there doing things. They're mm -hmm. taking care of business. They're talking to the right people. They got strategy. They got management. Meanwhile, y'all can't get a you can't get a handle on Trump, mm -mm. and he's just out there doing whatever he wants, and 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 talking to people that I'm sure they got his staff is just like <laughs> shit. Can we take his phone away? Can you if, you take his phone away? Yeah, if this guy would just let us vet at least one of these people. Just do a background check and tell him you can't do this. Because while they out there doing what they're supposed to do, this man is up here talking to people like this. You took a bullet. For everyone in this room, everyone watching, you, everyone, everyone. You, you stood up and went like this. And uh, it's a pretty badass picture, by the way. So if you're wondering why this guy is kissing so much ass right here, mm -hmm. it's because this man whose name is Aiden Ross, He's kissing so much ass, Martin, because he is a certified butt sniffer. The work is complete. Oh. Congratulations. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's some good man ass right there. This, this dude, the reason why, got, got down on his hands and knees to sniff the remaining butt fumes yeah. of uh, what the, what's, Andrew what, Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah. And the reason why he does that is because he, he, he considers himself a beta to the alpha males out there. Okay. So these alpha males that he gets around, that's his signature to go in there and snip their ass. Ah, okay. This, this, this is the man that Trump is talking to right now. Uh -huh. So while, so while you got People out there, even though that they, even though they are, even though they out there taking zings at each other. That is if, you, if he's willing to get off the couch and show up. So. They're being professional about it. Mm -hmm. So while Harris and Waltz out there doing that, Trump is out here talking to people who does this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Talking to freaks. Yeah. Talking to, you know, I mean, I that's, guess that's just some, anything to that's, get some internet fame. Huh? some perverted shit right there. Right, you know? right, it's, right. It's, well, call it what it is. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. So don't, people, don't treat this like uh, when, when Clinton, you know, what's her name? Hillary Clinton, when she, when she called y'all deplorables and shit, and y'all tried to use that mm -hmm. against her. That's, She's that's just unprofessional. She's looking down on us. She's just looking down on people. Don't don't try to say that we're weird now because <laughs> you brought that shit on yourself. That cannot be argued. All right, shit is weird. Okay, don't come up here talking about man. You why you saying that? That's what I'm preventing. No, it's weird. Just call it as it call is. Call it as it is. All right. <laughs> Ain't no, ain't, ain't uh, Harris and, and Walsh ain't talking to nobody sniffing ass. Oh boy. And and he's not the the brightest dude either. Now, I don't know if he's trolling. He might be trolling, because you never know. And, he, and the thing is, them, no matter how ignorant it comes across, trolling for them is a win. Sure. You know, you know no matter how stupid they look, oh, <laughs> I got you. No, not really, you're still like a dumbass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the dude's talking to a guy who wants to be a dictator, who wants to, you know, have an authoritarian rule. Mm -hmm. And he can't, he don't even know what the word authoritarian means. What does a fascist mean? 
excuse me, even simpler word, yeah, fascist. fascist. But authoritarian, I think, is in there, and he can't he can't pronounce it. <laughs> um, it means you are a far right authorization on you on ultra visit ultra ultra nullitist. Oh my God, ultra analyst, anal, analyst. Ultra nationalist, God damn it! <laughs> What's his word say? Illiteracy, <laughs> illiterate, lit, illiterate, illiterate uh, idiot. <laughs> God, go oh my God! For, forcible suppression, suppression of opposition. So I don't know what that means, bro. I swear to God, I don't know what the fuck a fascism is. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> so he might be trolling. I don't know, but either way, it don't look good. Yeah, yeah. It don't look good for uh, uh, Trump. No. And this is a guy, and again, I don't know why so many people, especially, and I'm just going to say it from my position, because I'm black, I'm going to call out you black Republicans who are behind, not all of you, but all of y'all kissing Trump's ass like this man right here. I don't know why you were so into it and trying to call out and say there's no racism in America and all that kind of shit, because this guy has had... Uh, white nationalists on his uh, on his he's talked to them he's interviewed them mm-hmm. on his on his uh, streams or yeah, shows or whatever. Um, Nick Fuentes. Oh, oh, that's Nick Fuentes. Okay. No, that's not Nick Fuentes. Oh, oh, that's, Nick Fuentes. That's, he's uh, had on that's, there. that's Aiden Ross. Okay, he's had Nick Fuentes on his okay. show. So you have a president now. Trump probably don't even. He don't know. He already he, he, he got told, hey, uh, here's a young guy with some followers, and he's really into you. And he's and he's famous on YouTube. It'd be a good idea to talk to him. Yeah, and <laughs> somebody said Trump got in the chat. Talking about Trump got great strategy. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> by strategy do you mean this? <laughs> Is that the move you're talking about? <laughs> sure, sure. So now that people are calling him out, saying, "What the f- are you thinking, man?" Well, you know, Barron told me to do this. <laughs> Oh. Barron ain't been out in the public eye in right, how right. long? Yeah. And now he's throwing his ass under the bus and in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about, oh, my, this, this guy told he's me to do it. He's just blaming it on Barron. <laughs> yeah. Barron didn't say shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> he got told to say that. <laughs> he, he, he's, not, he's not above throwing his son <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> I believe it's the F, is it the FC, not is the FCC, or I think it's the SEC. That says you cannot give a certain amount of money to a or donate to a a, a, a campaign mm-hmm. a certain way because he he donated a this guy Aiden Ross donated a one of those damn refrigerator trucks okay. from 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 from, uh, a supermarket? from from Elon Musk oh okay oh the refrigerator trucks okay <laughs> it's it's the FEC the FEC says, yeah, there's a the Federal Election Committee, mm. the Cyber Truck. Yeah, yeah, he's he donated. He don't know that those Cyber Trucks look like damn toasters and refrigerators. It yeah, looks like, it looks like a big appliance on right, wheels. Right, right, right. There's all these stories of of them uh, pieces breaking off and shit. Yeah, so he gave him a Cyber Truck, and I think by the FC the FEC's rules, mm. that is th- th- that that's that's <laughs> it's like we'll take that. That's against the rules. Mm-hmm. That's an Elon. Wow. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Moss. That's beautiful. Elon, you're great. I don't know if you're saying this. You're really good. So now they got to figure out how can we spin this and what are we going to do with this truck? Mm-hmm. And there was something else that he gave him. Yeah. So yeah, they got to figure out what to, what to do with this now because that's against regulation of the FEC uh-huh. given that amount or yeah. anything that's the that equivalent thing. of a certain amount of right, money right, over, right. oh, I forgot what it was. Well, what was, somebody know the amount that you're not supposed to give over, there's a certain limit that the FEC says that you can give. Oh, oh, that's right, he got a Rolex watch worth 300K. From Elon? From Aiden. From Aiden. From butt sniffer. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's $3,300, really? Why would you mm. give a billionaire a Rolex? So you can, so you, like like they wouldn't have one already. So you, so Martin, so you can sniff his ass. That's why. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So you can get up in them damn cheeks right there. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe after he gets out of the truck, you can sniff the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this right here. Thirty three hundred dollars is the limit. Okay. So this is way over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's against regulation right yeah. there. So there's all kind of things that's wrong with this here. Yeah. You know. Mm. Yeah, none of this is a good look. No, no. I, I, I thought you were going to talk about the the tweet he sent out. What was the tweet? Oh my God! You you got to look it up, man. 
When, we, when did he send that I out? think it was today. If it wasn't today, it was yesterday. He, he puts out a lot of tweets a day. What was this one? This one was a whole, it's it's a whole thing of, uh, you know, with the name Colin, uh, and then we got rid of- uh, Kabbalah? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Kabbalah and, and, and Crooked Joe and some name for Tim Waltz. And all this, and and this, it, it, it rambles, and it's like, dude, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get your subscription to to Grammarly, because yeah. this doesn't make any sense. And then at the end, he's like, and they got a plot to bring. I, I heard they got a plot to bring Crooked Joe back. This is all a ploy for that. It's it's just it's the ramblings of like somebody who's seen him. <clears throat> he's. This is why Biden had to go mm-hmm. because the spotlight was on Biden, but this man was sitting up here rambling. Mm-hmm. Probably not as good as that, not as bad as Biden was, but he was rambling and not making sense the whole time. Mm-hmm. He's being nonsensical too. Yeah, just you know, just the, the spotlight was on Biden yeah. at the time. There's a lot of him just getting by on past reputation. Yeah, that's why I said, man, you know, if, if Biden leaves, there's going to be a lot that's going to be shifted onto Trump mm-hmm. at that point. A lot of things. If you got a younger person in there, and this worked out way better than I thought, I tell you, I was like, I, I saw Kamala Harris as a as as a hail mary. Turns out this all worked out better than anybody could have thought. Mm-hmm. And uh, so everything has shifted on his ass now. You know, every everything that he's saying is, you know, every word that's coming out of his mouth right now. Well, it's under it's, it's under better scrutiny now. It's under, yeah, it's more scrutiny. And people are paying attention to him now because now he's the old guy that people are saying, man, you might be too old to be doing this. Mm-hmm. And it's a combination of maybe, maybe he's seen now. But a lot of a lot of it is that he's panicked too. Yeah. So now he's just kind of rambling mm-hmm. <laughs> because he's desperate. Yeah. That shit was a lot easier when Sleepy Joe was in there. Sure, sure. And probably the the, the biggest detriment for him in his mind is that he's not the center of the news cycle right now. Mm-mm. I mean, I mean, he got shot at, and. <laughs> That, you know, something he was going to milk for the next three months. And ain't nobody talking about that no more. That is true. That I mean, I mean he, he got to live with that for, what, two weeks? And then and then it was starting to go into, like, well, was he shot or was that? <laughs> was he even shot? Was that shrapnel? Shit. Next thing going to do is actually have somebody shoot him <laughs> in the knee or something. Right, right. Go on, do it. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. This dude. And I yeah. think Skull pulled up the. He's probably uh, looking for something. Something crazy to do. He's like, I got to get him talking about me again. Yeah, here's a skull copy. The, the, oh, here it is. Let me see. Uh, here we go. This is the thank you, skull. And for anybody else who sent it over. What are the chances that crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the U.S., whose pres- presidency was unconstitutionally stolen from him by Kamabla, that's he's yeah. trying. He, boy, he's trying. He's trying anything. Now he's just making. Now he's just using typos mm-hmm. as a as a, as a nickname. Yeah. K- Kamabla, <laughs> Kamabla. That, that's just, that's it, my new name for her. It just sounds like you got a mouthful of nuts and marbles. Yeah, it sounds like you don't you 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 just getting it wrong. Yeah, sounds like somebody's nutsack is in your, in your mouth. Barack Hussein Obama. Now he's going off on him. Mm-hmm. Nancy Pelosi, shifty Adam Schiff, crying Chuck Schumer and others on the lunatic left crashes the Democratic National Convention and tries to take back the nomination. Boy, that's what you wish. <laughs> I know. Not you just writing fan fiction. <laughs> Not you just writing fantasy. Uh, beginning with challenging me to another debate. He feels that he made a historically tragic mistake by handing over the U.S. presidency, a coup, to the people in the world he most hates. And he wants it back now. No, he don't. No. <laughs> you want it back. <laughs> Your bitch, your, your bitch ass wants it back, but no, nobody else does. I'm like, these are the ramblings of a madman. He's a, yeah, now y'all begin to see the man's a lunatic. Uh-huh. He's always been a lunatic. He's been he's been driven by narcissism. Mm-hmm. He's been driven by ego. ego. Which, yeah, you know this man is he's insane. He's you know this this is this is this, this is hardly about running the country. And there's more and more pictures of him hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, somebody tried to tell me he stopped Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> Yeah, stopped her from from, from yeah, telling yeah. everything, yeah. from telling exactly. on him. <laughs> exactly. The hell out of here, and man, this is uh, yeah, y'all. Are, I don't, I don't see how y'all don't see this man is out of his goddamn mind, or just not fit for office. No, not at all. 
Not not one bit. I mean, this is who you want dictating your life, your policy. This this is who you want. The man who talked to this dude right here. <laughs> this is who you want. <laughs> this man who sniffs seats. It's not a good look for y'all, man. Sniffing seats. Couches. <laughs> where, where does it end? <laughs> what other furniture do? <laughs> what other furniture do we have? Get them. Got a vacuum cleaner in the corner, shaking. <laughs> uh, that's me. Look, come on, y'all. Don't, don't steal my act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kamala talk to you and like you talking to a man who the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> like he get me on that. <laughs> I can't. I can't deny that. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, man. Damn, somebody. Somebody. Uh. Somebody hot bed, boy. He's <laughs> great. Put hey, hot, put the pillows in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah, man. I, I I don't know. If you're gonna, if you were ever gonna be one to judge Joe Biden by his his, his mental capacity and his. You know, him not being very good with speeches or fumbling his words. Y'all can't be no hypocrites and look at Trump, you know, and not look at Trump the same way. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Come on now. Well, I guess we'll. Martin, let's talk about movies, man. You know, it's, <laughs> what do we know? Yeah, we don't know what you're man, talking about. Stick to movies. Stay out of <laughs> politics. You guys, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Go to movie land. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about something that matters. <laughs> movies. <laughs> Oh. Independent horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you really like what we do. So if you do, check out these other videos just like this one. Check out our other YouTube channels. And subscribe to join our wonderful Toasty community. And as always, stay toasty.